Hi friends, happy Monday. Today we're gonna read a book called Weather in the Spring, and then we're gonna do a quick writing project together. It's spring. Spring is here. The weather feels warmer. The sun shines longer each day. Remember how we had to push the clocks ahead so we lost an hour of sleep? The shining sun. As earth moves around the sun, it spins on a tilted axis. In spring, the sun shines more directly on the northern part of the earth. The sun rises earlier each day and it sets later every night. You may have noticed that the sun is staying out longer and longer and the days are getting longer every day. Longer days bring warmer weather. Sunshine melts the snow. Water from melted snow runs into creeks and rivers. Sometimes waterways flood. Spring storms. Spring weather changes often. Warm sunny days follow cool and rainy days. Look at that beautiful rainbow. Storm clouds form. Rain falls, lightning flashes, and thunder rolls. Small storms can become big storms. Tornadoes swirl. Spring can be rainy, sunny, and stormy. What weather does spring bring to your home? And that brings us to our project. We are going to make a tulip. And we're gonna write about our five senses, things we see, hear, smell, feel, and taste in spring. So at home, you're gonna need a grown up or you can draw a giant flower. You're gonna write the word spring and we're gonna fill these in. In spring, I see, hmm, things I see in spring. I'm gonna think about it. I see worms, so I'm gonna write worms. Put a period at the end of my sentence. In spring, I hear, I hear a lot of birds chirping in the spring. So Mrs. M is gonna write birds. B. I hear B. I R D S. Put my period. In spring, I smell, I smell flowers. So Mrs. M hears a f in the beginning, an F. O L Ow. I hear an O. W, E, R, S, and an S at the end. In spring, I feel, I feel warm sun, because the sun starts to come out, and it shines, and it hits my face. In spring, I taste, hmm, what's something that you could taste in spring? Mrs. M's gonna write maple syrup, because in the spring, a lot of people make maple syrup. And at the bottom it says bye, and I'm gonna put my name, Mrs. M. You can have a grown up at home help you write, in spring I see, and then your job is to fill in what you see, hear, smell, feel, and taste. Remember, when you're filling those pieces in, your job is to turtle talk your words. So when you sound things out, you need to hear a beginning, middle, and ending sound. And at the end, you need to put a period at the end of each of your sentences. When you're done, you can cut out your flower. And make sure you send Mrs. D and I a picture of your writing and your beautiful flower that you did today. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.